Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is we're continuing on with my Easter, my 2022 Easter decor series, spring and Easter decor series. And today I'm going to be uh, creating something on a two-tiered tray and I'm going to be creating a silver tray design. For those of you that have been with me for a while, you will recognize both of these trays. And uh, because I utilize them and I reutilize them and then I utilize them again and again and again, uh, I just switch out the decor for the season. But first of all, I want to welcome all of you new subscribers in. I've gotten quite a few in the last few days. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and hitting that button. And uh, be sure to hit that notification bell and click all so you never miss one of my videos and uh, click like please as you guys have been seeing my likes i really appreciate you clicking that like yes i do and for those who may watch but have not yet hit that subscribe button i hope you would consider hitting it i would humbly ask you to go ahead and hit it and join my little safe haven here which is what i've been calling my channel we have no politics on here ever we try to always keep positive light and airy and only talk about decor and crafting and other things in my life, which is my grandson, our grandson, my husband, and I have been married for almost 40 years and uh, have a beautiful uh, 18, 19 month old grandson. So, but anyway, please consider joining my channel by hitting that subscribe button. Anyway, uh, I will also check for questions because I did not do that in Monday's video after I'm done doing my trays. And I do have some mischief with Maverick to share with you today. Let's see. Is there anything else I need to tell you? I probably will be back on Friday. I don't have anywhere to go. Um, I'm almost done with my decorating. All I have left to do is really just to arrange the secretary. After today's video, all I have to do is kind of arrange things on top of the secretary and just set a couple things in my foyer. And that will really be about it. So Friday's video may be short and sweet. But I will try to bring you one for sure so we get three videos out for you guys this week. Uh, then next week, I'm not sure what I'm doing other than I will try to prepare a home tour, a spring slash Easter home tour uh, for you guys. And other than that, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I have going on. Before I turn my camera, though, let me uh, remind you that uh, our featured uh, layout in the 2022 May edition of Country Sampler Magazine is now on the stands and I heard somebody picked it up at, at Walmart and others have you have you been receiving it in the mail for those that might have heard not heard me announce on Monday I did send out uh, my copies to those that I promised and, uh, but yeah we have been featured in Country Sampler in a big spread like 12 or 13 pages I couldn't believe it I'm so humbled I'm telling you in Country Sampler so do check that out and pick it up <laughs> All right, let's get my camera turned around here and we are going to start working on this two-tiered tray and this other silver tray. So let me get my camera set up and I'll be right back in just two seconds. Okie dokie, everybody. I'm back. And here we go with my two-tiered tray. This two-tiered tray is a tray that uh, Bella D. Design made for me. Now, isn't this pretty? It's, it's, a lovely, lovely, lovely two-tier tray. And if you're interested, I'm not sh I'm sure she's still selling things. So if you want to go to belladesigns.com and check her out, I would check out what she's got for sale. But this is a lovely tray, perfect size for a two-tier tray. And I have really, really, really enjoyed this. So much so, I keep it in my decor all the time and I redecorate it for the seasons. So, uh, for now, we are going to redecorate it for really an, e in an Easter motif, kind of, but not over the top Easter. It's going to be more of a blue and white and gold Easter. So let's get started. Let's get started. 
Let me move this up towards you. I probably am gonna to need to kind of turn it toward me. I am going to make this two-tiered tray so that it's forward facing. In other words, sometimes I'll make my tray, if it's gonna be like on a centerpiece on a table like this, or out of my kitchen, I'll make, or on my island, for instance, I'll make it so that it's, you know, all the way around. So it's, it's, a, it's a design that you can walk all the way around and have a party for your eyes, no matter which way you look. But this way, I'm going to have all of my accent pieces facing forward because where it's going to sit, you won't be able to look behind it. You won't be able to see from behind it. Okay, so let's get started here. First thing I want to start out with is this uh, that I'm going to, this is what I had on this tray to begin with uh, for my blue and white uh, decor. And you can see I just, this is just a blue and white uh, vase that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I believe I got it for like a really deep sale I did. This was $6.24 from Hobby Lobby. Got it on their sale shelf. And then I used some Ferris silk that Bobby gave me, a ribbon. Look at that beautiful ribbon. And you can find that ribbon on perpetualribbons.com. Very pretty, Ferris silk. And she gave me this ribbon, so I just love it. And I, and I tied this on at, at Christmas, I think, and I've just left it on there. So, And I love it on there. So I'm gonna leave it on for now. And I did have some of these eggs left over. So I thought just very simply, I mean to tell you very simply, I thought that I would just put uh, just one little tuft of these eggs that I have left over, just coming out of it like that, just to add a little something something to it. So there we go. And I want this to sit right up on top. And the reason I have it so bent over, this is going to sit in my bay window over in my living room. And it's gonna sit under kind of a glass table that sits up against the window. And you can see I've kind of got the, the decor kind of bent over to one side because actually the tabletop kind of, come, kind of comes to here. So, so there we go. That's how I want to start things out. And uh, I have a little bunny. So I would like the bunny to be, you know, kind of front and center in a way. So I think I'll put him on that side. And then I have a couple of eggs. One for maybe there. I got this bunny. You know what? I don't remember. She's got kind of the potpourri in her. I don't remember where I got her though. But I do want her to sit down here, I think. Maybe Hobby Lobby, I don't even know. I did get these eggs from Hobby Lobby last year. I'm trying to think here, I would like the... Yeah. <laughs> I'm in a little conundrum. I'll tell you why. I don't, see how these look very similar? But if I do this, then they look similar that way too. So no matter which way I arrange these eggs, it's going to be similar to what's below it. So I might need to move this bunny in a different way and put the egg somewhere else like that or something different. Do something that one of these will kind of take more of a back seat than the other like that. We'll see where I go from there. I also have three little bunnies with little gold ears and gold bows around their neck. So I thought I would put a couple of these little dudes on here. Maybe two on the top since I do have a bunny on the bottom and let that kind of fade to the back. And then one little dude here like this. This little bird, uh, Mick gave me, one of my subscribers. Thank you, Mick, for her. She has been on this tray since the very start and I'm gonna leave her on this tray, but I'm gonna set her in the back, kind of. And let's see, what else? I do have this little, this little, I, what do you call this? Like a little teapot? This was my grandmother's. And uh, we cleaned it up. It is brass. It is real brass. We cleaned it up. And I always like to have it because I like 
incorporating the gold. So I think I will let it take kind of a back seat to the bunny, but be on there, you know. And then I do have a couple of tea sets. One that was mine, this one that was mine as a child. And then I have this one that Amanda Thrasher gave me. So I love utilizing these, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit. Well, maybe I will. Both on. Well, that looks okay. There we go. And for accent pieces, I think that's it. I think that's all I wanna do on there. But I do have some florals that I think I might like to set in and through. Just blueberries and some white berries. And a hydrangea. think I think that's it I think that looks super cute just very subtle very very subtle you can see I have these glue dotted on <laughs> these little um, tea tea sets I use glue dots because I just I really like was interested in them staying together all the time like that so I glue dotted them down Anyway, I think that looks really cute. Just enough Easter to, to make it festive, and I love it. I love it. So, let's set this aside. And as I said, this is going to sit kind of up on a stool. I didn't say that, but it's going to sit up on a stool and kind of be just right underneath the glass table, which I'll show you everything else over there. I didn't do much over there, but I did do a couple of things. So, let's move this over to the side here happy with how that turned out. And then now I'm going to use this silver tray. This was my mom and dad's, as I said, and I just cleaned it with some silver polish yesterday. And uh, it does have one spot on it that is just, I just can't get clean, but that's okay. You won't notice it once I get the, you know, accent pieces on it. But this was used at my parents' wedding reception. And uh, so this holds lots of memories for my dad. Of course, my mom is no longer with us for those that don't know. So she passed away of Alzheimer's back in 2013. But my dad is still living and doing great. So at 86. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna keep this very simple because I think this is a beautiful tray and it sits on a pretty little table uh, that you'll see when I get it in there. That was my grandmother's. So this is all about sentimentality, you guys. I'm really not gonna get sentimental with what I'm put, gonna put on the tray though. <laughs> I'll tell you that. But as I said, this is a tray that I use in my decor over and over and over and over again throughout the seasons. This tray has probably been sitting on that table forever or since I got in this house, since we got in this house. Anyway, I'm just going to start out with just a very simple white lantern, and I have a, a candle that you can find. This is one of the smaller uh, candles that is, uh, I have a combination of candles linked in my, a set of candles linked in my Amazon storefront, and this is the smallest one of the, of the grouping. So I'm just going to put that in there. I'm not going to put anything on top of it, no bow top or anything like that. I'm just going to set that right there. Now I have, I am a real uh, lover of milk glass. And so I have two milk glass, let me show you here, candle holders, see that? 
and you crooked? I feel like you're crooked. Oh my goodness. And now I know that there are other place, other ways to keep candles standing up straight. And a lot of people have mentioned putty to me, like teachers use for their walls. But all I do, honestly, is I take a little piece of a paper towel and I cut it just like a quarter inch wide or so. And I wrap it around to the thickness I need. And then I just twirl it on in and down. And that holds that candle beautifully in there. And then this is part of a uh, garland that I got from, uh, oh my goodness, from Amazon uh, quite a while ago. And I love it because of the, the white flowers on it. And this is linked in my florals, I believe, in my, it's a long garland. And so this is, I've cut the garland up to make two candle rings. I don't know where the hair is coming from. Two candle rings and that I just simply just kind of tuck around. Like that. And I've got another one here. Two. And they just kind of sit there prettily next to one another. And then I have another little uh, white dish that one of you guys gave me actually. It's just a little white. I don't know that it's milk glass, so to speak. It does have a little symbol on the back, so I'm really not sure what it is, but one of you guys gave it to me. So I just wanna put this right in the front here. And I want to put a little, another little bit of, a, of this same garland in here, just kind of wrapped in there. And then one of you guys, I wish I could remember who, somebody had mentioned that I ought to put your names on these, and you are right, I need to do that because I can't remember who gave me what, you guys, and I am so sorry. I'm so appreciative of everything that you guys have ever given me, though. Please know that. Please, please, please know that. But anyway, she sent me these beautiful eggs. If you sent them to me, please let me know. <laughs> uh, I have five of them here, so I'm just going to set them in here, these blue and white eggs kind of prettily about here, you know? Oh, isn't that pretty, my goodness. And I do wanna do one more thing here to bring a little bit more Easter in. I've got this, this little candle holder, little silver candle holder, $4.99 from You Got Me. It's not Hobby Lobby. Maybe, I might have gotten this from like Tuesday morning. I seem to think, seem to remember I did. Just got like roses on the top of it and a bird on the top of it. But anyway, I'm just gonna set that right there. And I want to set one bunny on top. I have these little bunnies. I don't know where I got these little dudes. I've had them for a while. I really don't know, I don't have any tags on them. So maybe Hobby Lobby, but they're really cute. And I just wanna set the other one. It's just very simply right there. And that, my friends, is that entire design. But isn't that pretty soft and simple, but yet Eastery? And it also is, you know, it also brings in the blue and white too. So I love it. I absolutely love it. So those are the two little designs that I was going to do today. Two little, two little arrangements for the living room. I think they look pretty. I did have eggs, but I don't want to really put eggs around anything. I like, I I don't know. I'm, I really like these the way they are. Uh, I like the blue and white being more dominant. I think they're pretty. I think Alrighty. they're pretty. Because I do have that many eggs left. That's how many I have. I have, you know, and I may use some in the foyer and on the secretary and, you know, maybe throw them here or there. But I don't, I really don't want, I don't think I need any more. The only place, here I am, I'm going to talk myself into using some eggs. The only place that I can see, I don't have my slippers out here either. The only place I can see that I might could use a set a little bit is right here. There. Since we have some coming out the top, we'll put some coming out the bottom. <laughs> All right, that's it. All right, I'm gonna pull my camera around and pull my computer out and see if I have any questions.
Okie dokie, everybody. I'm back. <laughs> my dad called me. My dad called me. Bless, him, bless his heart. He had a procedure done on his back on uh, Monday. He's been having some back pain, arthritis and stuff. So he was telling me about that. Anyway, he's doing fine. He's doing great. He played his golf this morning and uh, he's getting ready to go out and get himself some lunch and said it's raining there. I said it is here too. Look at it. It's been, it's been raining on and off all morning, but we're bright and sunny here, aren't we? <laughs> All right, I do have a few questions here. Nothing major, but I do have a few. So uh, Lisa Sigardi asked me, and I, I pretty much responded to all these, but I thought some of these questions might be something that, some questions that you guys might have too. So Lisa asked, she said, Hi Arlen, would you recommend the Color Street nails for someone that has very weak and thin nails due to acrylic manicure? And um, I would, I would, Lisa, I said that to you. My nails are uh, definitely damaged well they were damaged they were damaged from having acrylics on and I wouldn't hesitate to put the put the color street on really all they are is they're a sticker yes but they are three coats of fingernail polish a base coat a, a you know a regular coat and a top coat of fingernail polish each each you know like sticker is and and I would and my nails are, are recovered from that because it's been since 2020 since I have my acrylics on but uh, uh, these make them stronger, I think, while you have them on. Now, when you take the nails off, your nails are going to be as strong or whatever. They're, they don't have anything in them to make your regular nails strong that I know of or that I've noticed. But when they're on, I feel like they're really, you know, they're really strong and I, I can't really bend them too much. Of course, they bend more than an acrylic would. Anything bends more than an acrylic would. Mm -hmm. But yes, I definitely think that they would work with, you know, nails that have been damaged by acrylics for sure so um and then let's see lynn hampton asks she said hi Lynn. the hutch looks lovely where did you get the pretty pink birds sitting in this hutch right here um i th i thought i had mentioned in there that i didn't know <laughs> i think i got them from uh either and that which is like the christmas tree shops or hobby lobby but honey it's been years ago I've had those birds for at least three to four years. When I did my pink design is when, you know, I did, I did infused pink into my uh, Easter design one year and that's the year that I got those. And I believe it was like 2019. So it's been a long time since I bought those. So, and I haven't honestly been into any stores to see, as you all have seen, I've been utilizing, you know, all of my stuff that's been in my coffers pretty much other than the the two um, centerpieces, I did buy a few things. But other than that, I've been pretty much buying what, or uh, using what I already have, so. And then Blanca Weir, uh, in your front living room, you have a corner area with a wall shelf and decor. Can you feature that area, maybe in a video, or tell me where you got the shelf and what are, what are the decorative things you have there? It is beautiful. It is a beautiful look how you made that corner area into something special. Your home tours feature videos feature it, but only for a few seconds. I love your channel. You know what? You know why I never feature that? And I haven't dusted it, but I will show it to you today, but I haven't dusted it. So Lord only knows what it looks like over there. Uh, it is where all of the, you know, kind of the uh, extra decor that I don't know what to do with kind of lands. I need to pull everything off of it and decorate it for the blue and white. And I have not taken the time to do that. But I will show you what's on the shelf right now. It is a corner shelf and I did get it at Hobby Lobby. I remember that. But I've had that shelf oh, probably since a month after we moved into this house. And we've been in this house nine years. So almost nine years. So uh, I know that I have seen that shelf within the last year though at Hobby Lobby. But I'll take you over there and I'll show it to you. <laughs> again I haven't dusted it and I, I don't even know what's on there so goodness I will maybe one of these videos I'll try to really decorate it up for you know I, I'm kind of out of Easter stuff so maybe when we go into spring I'll decorate it for spring a little better so but thank you for asking me about that Blanca oh my goodness you're right I don't usually feature that one on my home tours do I you're right uh and then do, do, 
Dolorosa Castro asks, good morning. I'm placing an order from Petrol Ribbons. Is there a discount code available I can use? Unfortunately, I told her I, I do not have a, a discount card at this moment for you. Bobby sometimes will give me a discount card a code to use, but right at the moment, I don't have one. So uh, when I do, I will let you know. I will let you all know. And she said, you know, and I told her that, and she said, thank you so very much, Arlene, for responding to my question. I did order some ribbon from her today, and I'm very pleased with what I purchased it is wonderful ribbon, you guys. Perpetual ribbon is wonderful. I'm so looking forward to receiving it. I appreciate you responding once again. Of course, of course, I try my best to always respond, you guys. I try. Uh, I know that some emails get past me. I know that some comments get past me, but I really, please know it's not for lack of trying to catch everything and to answer you back. I really try to respond to questions that are asked, or at least to the very least say, I'll answer you in my next video. You know, if I don't answer you there, or sometimes I've been trying to answer there and answer in the videos though, but I, I really, really try very hard to be communicative with you guys, keep the lines of communication open. Uh, but I do know, I realize I am absolutely not perfect and things do get by me to things do get by me. So anyway, that's all the questions I have. So I guess that's it for today, you guys. I don't have any idea how long this video or short this video is, but it, it is what it is and we're going to go with it. How about that? <laughs> As I said, I do have uh, a cute little uh, Mischief with Maverick video to show you. Uh, he and his mama were working on something uh, last night and she sent me a video, which is super cute. So I'll put that at the end and then I will I'll actually take my camera down first though and show you that corner that I was just talking about and show you where these two things landed in the living room. How about that? All right, all right. So let me go into my final words while I'm looking at you though here, but stick around for those for that last little video and Mr. Fifth Maverick. But uh, let me just say again, thank you guys always for all of your comments. As I said, I try to be, I try to communicate with you, but it's difficult sometimes because of course I am living my life over here too, just as y'all are there. And we all know how busy life can get and has been super busy for me as of late, really, really busy. So I always try my best though. I always try my best for you guys. Uh, I love this channel. I love being able to hopefully put a smile on your faces each day that I'm on here. And with that, I'm going to say I hope all is well with everyone. And for those of you who might be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around. And I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye. Okie dokie, everybody. Here I am back and I will uh, show you, I'm not going to show you my whole living room, but I'll show you a couple of places here. Uh, this is the little coffee table that I was telling you about that my grandmother passed down from my mom to me. And my dad always likes me to tell you the story that he wrapped every single present that he ever wrapped. And let me tell you, there were many through the years on this little table that it has a glass top to it and it lifts off. This whole piece of, of wood will lift, will lift off with the glass in it. And, uh, he would lift that off and just wrap it on the little table, but <laughs> he always likes that story. I said, I don't know how you manage that, Dad. That is such a little table. So, but as you can see, I have a blue placemat underneath the glass, and that little tray just fits perfectly on there. So that's why I always utilize that tray on top of this little table, and then, you know, make a little design in the tray. And I think it turned out pretty and soft and just perfect for the feel of this room. So, uh, you know, again, I don't want to show you all the way around because I don't want to ruin the home tour. I do just have some bunnies sitting up there and uh, I have a basket coming that I'm going to, I did order a basket from Amazon that I'm going to put those two little uh, blue pillows in because I did replace them. They usually sit up in the chairs and I replaced them with these little bunny pillows that I got last 
mm, last year, I believe, at TJ Maxx, I believe is where I got those. And I got this little uh, bunny pillow from Home Goods, I believe. I got that from Home Goods last year. Again, I haven't purchased a ton this year. We will get back to this corner, which is that where that lovely lady just asked me the question about. But first, let's look at the two-tier tray. These chairs, for one, I got from a Wayfair year before last, after Christmas. And uh, you saw this uh, bay window featured in one of the pictures. And in fact, this whole room was featured in the uh, Country Sampler magazine. They really like this room, and I do too. This is my fav one of my favorite rooms in the house, other than the kitchen. I love this. So I made that wreath up there. That is a embroidery hoop there, and it's stained to match the floors. And I just used lamb's ear and blueberries and this beautiful blue and white ribbon from D. Stevens, but I got it from Bobby. So there you can kind of see. So I made that a while back in 2020. I know when I made that in March of 2020. <laughs> And then this is just a little glass top table that I got from Kirkland's uh, right when we moved in here. And uh, I just have a few sweet little things. That's my mom's Bible, Bible Bible. And a couple little bunnies. I got those from Amazon, I believe, last year. A couple of gold candlesticks with gold spheres on the top. And the uh, speak no evil, see no evil, hear no evil. Little owls there. A little sweet bird and some willow tree figurines. Just this and that. Tchotchkes, if you will, on my table. And there is where the two-tiered tray landed, right there. I think it looks pretty in this setup. And then I just have, a, that's a mellow mean plate set up on a plate holder. And the little lamb and uh, a little home sign. So this is just a very sweet little seating area that... Uh, I just love, I just love. And here is the corner that this lovely lady was asking us about. And this is the shelf. As I said, it's got a hodgepodge of stuff on it right now. That little lady I got from Hobby Lobby years ago. Uh, she's super pretty and that's just like a mason jar, blue, kind of blue green mason jar. I used to have, that used to be the dominant color in this room, kind of that turquoisey color of the magnolias there. So that's kind of where uh, the rest of that decor landed. I have an eagle here to match the eagle picture. And that's just a candle holder, just a glass candle holder with that color candle in it. That's That design is on the candle inside of it. It's not on the glass. So, uh, and then, you know, a couple little candle holders with candles. And uh, then I have a big vase uh, that I, I made. I got all of those florals from a shop in Nashville when I went with Danielle and her mama and met Dee there in Nashville. I have a video about that. And then this little angel, I can't remember where I got her. So that is it. There's that little corner for you. <laughs> I really need to redo it for the blue and white, although that blends well in here, you know. So... But anyway, that'll do it for today's video, you guys. I'm very happy with how everything worked out. Soft and sweet and subtle. And I think it's super pretty. So, but anyway, I will try to come back on Friday with a little something. And um, even if it's just a little something, I'll try to come back and say hey to you guys. So, all right. Until then, y'all take good, good care. Love yous. Bye-bye. <laughs> And yellow. Good yellow. job. Good job, baby. You say yellow. And orange. And orange. Good job. And yellow. And blue. And then pink. Pink. Good job. Yellow. Uh oh. Pink. Yellow. You say yellow. Yellow, uh, yeah. Blue, you say blue, uh, yeah. Purple, 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 yeah. That's green though. Put the purple one on.
Let's put purple. Oscar. Purple. Orange. Did you say orange? Yellow. Yellow. She's concentrating. Uh-oh. Go get it. Uh-oh. Yeah, uh-oh. Get that yellow one. Good job. Yellow. And one more. Green. Okay. Oh, no.